Hello, and welcome to part 7 of the Breaking It All Down Let's Play for Genji, Days of the Blade. Right now, we are going through the library building, which is currently on fire! Yay. Dealing with burning things, that's exactly what we needed in our adventure right now. So, we are currently controlling Shizuka and Benji. Ben Benkai, whatever. These characters are so honestly generic that I've stopped caring about their names slightly. Alright. Now the guy's lying in wait in a room that is being consumed in flames, waiting patiently for me to show up so they can try and kill me. Bob, you think we should leave now that this place is on fire? Nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I think it's one of the demon guys who, you know, probably has some sort of resistance to flame. He's just your ordinary average thug. Do 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 do. Okay, so I know where we are now. Let's put some more XP into leveling up equipment. Oh, archers, the end of the long hallway. Of course. And dudes with spears, too. Alright. Ah, there we go. There's the paper charm that, was, that is the MacGuffin of this whole thing, I believe. Also notice that getting too close to the flame doesn't actually hurt me. Ah, oh, another save point. That's nice to know. Nice of them to put bad guys in the level to say in the room with the save point. Normally they don't do this. Might as well save now. Alrighty, so let's get out of here. And take cheap shot damage again. And nice of them to put that there, by the way. It sends a message to the player, a message that you are currently have too much hit points and we believe that we should cut you down a notch. Because God forbid you do too well. <clears throat> Why does that last room have absolutely no fire in it at all? Firing minds want to know. Alright, so how is that last guy, the second to last guy blocking? Is the one who we hit just a second before that appeared to be doing just fine in terms, of, in terms of us doing damage to him while in the same animation position? It's weird. There's a bit of odd animation issues with it in terms of your attack animations and your enemies blocking animations and all sorts of other stuff. Okay, now we're back where we were, like, episode two-ish. We have really gone full-on with the freaking... 
Uh, backtracking. Okay, what the heck there? I did the attack. There's no space to do another attack there, I presume, but instead it just left him with, like, partial health after the hit and not giving me a chance for an attack while the timer ticked down. I want to call that a glitch. Because it didn't do that for the other two guys. So there's got to be a bug with the game. Something that slipped through, I guess. Alright, let's fight our way through these clowns again. And there's a the possibility I've missed some stuff here. Unfortunately, there's no way to revisit these levels after the fact. Just a grind for experience or whatever. You have to grind in, in whatever level you're in. Get on down the road. Alright, and now we use the Tomoyuri Talisman to get to the field. And this means that the Talisman's ex expired and we're gonna have to go back and get another MacGuffin, right? So that's normally what this means. I'm gonna do a separate save game here, just in case, in fact, I actually wasn't supposed to go this way. And I somehow busted the talisman. And the archers responded. Because, that, because incredibly accurate shots from off screen that I can't see coming are exactly what this level needed. Not totally incredibly accurate. Those last two missed. But they're a pain in the butt. Yeah, so I'm, I'm given the, uh, I was given the, uh, Dancing Fan my best shot there for that section, and as you can see, it's just, it's just not a good weapon from an animation standpoint. It deals plenty of damage, but the animation just is wrong for doing a sort of combo kind of thing, particularly with, with, particularly with dealing with the large groups of enemies this game throws at you. And then go across this gap. And back the door over here after fighting all through all the other goons which just responded respond in my absence, because of course. Will I actually successfully knock him back into the flames for extra damage? Alright, so some of these you have these involved combos to do, some of them you do actually have the option for the insta-kill. And I'm really not sure which gives you more experience. Is going for the insta-kill, or just finishing them off right off the bat? I mean, it's a kill and finishing them off right off the bat, or going for the long involved combo. Some of them it appears to build up your moder your um, modifier, others not so much. It's weird. I'm gonna try to use one of the another one of those charms. And let's work on increasing Shizuka's hit points a little bit. I'm going to try to bring her up to max weapon power. And there's a save point right there which I can use to get myself back up to four. Well, I forget, never, mind, never mind, it automatically brought me back up to full. It looks like having that charm active when you go through a door just pops you up to full health, I guess. 
another save. This is going to be a longer than normal episode. Normally we only run about 15 minutes. 13 to 15 minutes. We'll be going closer to 20 this time. And cutscene, yay! Here's your MacGuffin you ordered. That doesn't look like paper. That looks like wood. So, Mario Kart I think that called for a slightly more elaborate invocation. Oh, if the force field was made of glass the whole time. Oh, what you did hit it with a hammer would be fine. What took you so long? <laughs> Who are you? Amuse ourselves. Hey! Okay. So, instead of a boss fight again, they're just throwing a large number of minions at us in one even slightly more elite mook. Okay. Oh, there is a boss here. Okay. So, the guy with the helmet, with the more elaborate helmet and the, the bigger crystal in his chest. So, they're, make, they're playing him as a boss here. Technically, he is in fact just an, uh, later on in the game. You'll encounter him much more often as basically a kind of elite mook. He's basically will basically just be a character who is there to command a bunch of other units, and they'll keep responding as long as he's alive. So you have to keep <clears throat> try to focus on him and kill him first. If you look at the boss gauge on the bottom, you'll see another meter right above it. Um, that is the enemy's Kamui gauge. Uh, once we actually in actual boss boss fights, you'll have enemies who have an actual Kamui, uh, Kamui gauge of their own there. And they'll be able to pull off Kamui attacks, and then those will be given a quick, quick time event to block their attacks. So you don't end up taking massive damage. I kind of check to see if anyone else here is close to having a uh, substantial movie gauge to pull off an attack. Hmm. So, in this case, just the best option at the moment is just to keep ripping through the EXP giving minions until I get another Kamui attack and pull the trigger on that. Oh, and also, I'll just take Hella Knockback. Almost full up. If the enemy doesn't pull it off... Ooh, here we go. Here's the enemy's Kamui attack. Marshall Kamui. Let's see if I can do this without getting killed. Now you see, this is also a really good way to quickly rip through minions they try to kill you, also and deals some extra damage to opponents, depending on how well you do in this section. However, it also costs you some Kamui of your own. Right. So, we'll drain my health a little bit. Alright, we're... Alright, looks like I'll be able to get my Kamui back up before the enemy gets his. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sodium Dolphin we should be able to pull off one more Kapuni Meter, just so long as they don't kill me first. Predicting and trying to avoid those nasty slashes from the Spearman. Here we go. Alrighty. Get most of these guys. And I get a bunch of XP out of the equation. And then I blow it on the boss figures. I might go up in it. Oh, doesn't matter. I got him finished off anyway. Sweet. Basically, these uh, automatically boost everybody's health in Kamui. They max out their health in Kamui. Um, and let you level up their those meters more. I failed you. I didn't let them take over the fortress. I'm so sorry. You know, um, if you hadn't, if these guys hadn't been there, the bad guys could basically have taken the entire fortress piecemeal and utterly devastated the Genji or the Minamoto clan, particularly considering that their defenses consist of two schmucks at the front gate with the door open. I could crack a joke here about... Yeah, I mean, this is less about the great man view of history and more about the least incompetent man view of history. Yeesh. Wait, are they Mothra's fairies? Now what's going on? Are we doing ascending? Are we in Final Fantasy X now? I'm confused. Are they sending somebody from the far plane? No? Okay, I assume this is pretty important, but, um... Who is this guy? You've been steadfastly resolute in refusing to tell the audience any useful information, particularly if they haven't played the last game. Which is distinct possible that they didn't, considering that you put much more focus into selling this game over the first game. Like you featured this one in the E3 press conference, not the last one. Okay。So we're getting our dynasty warriors on. Now see, this is an army camp. This with with lots of people, as a, well, a moderate number of people, as opposed to the fortress, which again only appears to have had two guards. Oh, we have green. This game isn't going to be all brown. Yay! Yeah, let's call this an episode.